I got a question strictly for me, and by all means, go deep on me and beat me up if you need to, because this is a demon that I've been trying to fight for a long time. I um, I can't get out of things that I love, right? Thank God I love things that God loves, so I, I'm very easy with a lot of things I could do. But, for example, there's a lot of stuff I mess up on, and the problem with it is I don't listen to people around me to do what I do, right? I listen to my heart. But what happens if my heart's leading me in the bad direction? So, taking that vertical up, marijuana. I, uh, I don't drink. I, I don't drink because I lose control of myself. And not just me, everybody. If you go to the club, when you see people drink, I know this sounds, I might get clipped for this. When I see people at the club and drinking and stuff, I, I don't like being at clubs because I, I, I look like I'm with a lot of demons. Just doing, guys just looking to see who they could smash. Girls are just completely blacked out. They have boyfriends at home. Like, oh, when I'm around these things, I feel like my, my skin's about to explode into fire. So I'm like, okay, I don't like drinking out with people. It's just, they're not at their best quality state of mind, and I don't want to be a part of that. When I smoke weed, though, I'm giggly. I am stupid, but I do have a firm grasp of what's kind of going on here. Um, at night, I like to partake in one or two joints. Now, for you good men, I don't know if you know what that is, but it's <laughs> ripping a bong is grabbing a plant from God's earth, right? So uh, is it wrong for me to unwind afterwards and, and, and rip a bad boy? You know what I mean? Like a... Uh, Get as high as my God could possibly take me. Oh, man. my God. No, I'm going to ask great... it in a blasphemous way because I want to relate to other pagans like yeah. me. Okay? No, this is such a good thing to, like, you know, to ask and to know. Well, I'm going to ask it the way that I feel. You Listen, bet. God created it. Yep. I just light it on fire and it acts me up a little bit. <laughs> I just want to know, is it bad? And am I considered a drunken fool if I do this? It's That's such an interesting question because, so I have relatives now, you know, CBD oil mm-hmm. and all it, it, it so it depends on the grade, right? No, I get pretty high, bro. You you go way <laughs> no, further. No, no, no. Exactly. CBD, CBD's here, what right? I take to calm me down, bro. Like I'm talking <laughs> and just like I'm just sitting there watching and then and then gluttony. Oh God, gluttony is such a bad thing. I got pizza and ice cream. Listen, do I think God's proud of me? No. But is it something that's gonna cast me away into hell because I keep practicing it? Um, and I, I love it, man. I like smoking and chilling in my house and I feel like it's more beneficial than me. You know, like, yeah, a, that's true. do you get what I'm saying? And so yeah. I just, I'm trying to find my way into the acceptance of it. And if it's wrong, I'll try my best to stop it. And if it's right, we're lighting one right now, baby. <laughs> we're going to get a clip on it right now. First time ever. <laughs> He's going to jump off the cliff if he smokes what I have. <laughs> Cliff, Cliff, he doesn't drink alcohol. He never has, but we got him on a boat once and he thought Mike's hard lemonade was just lemonade. No. Oh, and no, he was just no. when he hits lemonade, <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> well, you know what? Jesus turned water hey, into wine. That's hey, a, he turns up, and the gallons, the amount of that was supposed to be was just insane. No, like, he, absolutely. No, nah, no. Nah. Like people back the, in the day, they're like, "Yo, Jesus is here. We, think we got <laughs> right, the good right, stuff." Right. Like. I don't know if that's bad. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a joke. I'll let you give your poison ivy ah, illustration. Right. But wait, wait. Let, let me just say go, this go. one thing. I, it's of the earth. I'll, I'll let you take that. Boom. But, I, you know, I th- I think it just gets to that point. It is healthier than alcohol, a lot of people say Let's now. go. Let's go. And so, I, you know, I've done some conch. Conch? Conch? Out of the shells in Costa Rica? You smoked? Well, you yeah, smoked, it's been my a bit, God? Out of the shells in Costa Rica? Wow. I gotta move out of here. Maybe it'll be a little oh, more consistent. No. We wouldn't be able to push back against it here. <laughs> so. This is gonna get clipped. The whole church is gonna be like, you guys get stoned? <laughs> Are you dreaming of Mike's heart? <laughs> it's over for you guys. The internet's coming for you guys. So, so it's the whole matter too. Well, something connected. DMT, psilocybin. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. It's whoa, fascinating. Where did he go? You have you seen? Hold you on. went to ask Have you seen that like 40% of hard atheists became theists after these trips? 100%. Like, how do you explain that? Because it goes... And it is takes God you using to, that? So even though I, it's so unhealthy? I, I agree. And I also... It's like... Okay, this is... Oh, okay, now we're really <laughs> diving in. Trail. This is how I explain it to my mom and dad, right? So first of all, just to let you know, I might be a pansy for this. But when I was about to smoke weed, I sat my parents down first. And I wanted to make sure it was okay with them. I was having a really hard time sleeping. I had insomnia. And the doctors are like, yo, let's pop pills like Whitney Houston. And I said, no, fam. I'm not okay with that. And my mom said, nah, uh smoke weed, but I'm not proud of it, but I'd rather you smoke weed than do drugs, like that. And I was like, okay. And then uh, I was smoking, and I, and I explained it this way. You have a hammer. You could either build a beautiful home with it, or you could kill people with it, right? It's how you use it. Um, 
mind you how I've been using it is not the right way. But <laughs> is this God's plan? And are we allowed to use it? Because in, isn't there a scripture? But this is such a stoner scripture that like <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. That if, if like every herb was for us or something like that. And that's yeah, the one is- I don't remember, by the way. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I, I mean, it's cursed, by the way, right I now. Know. That's whoa, a curse. Whoa, whoa, this is cheese. Keep it clean. Come on, <laughs> buddy. We're talking about God here. What's wrong with you? Jessica, get my bong out. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so Please. what is your... All righty. First point. Some people say to me, well, God made it, so why don't you smoke it? Well, yeah, God made poison ivy. Please don't suck on it, okay? We live in a messed up world. Everything's been cursed. Everything's, God created a good world, really good. But then when we rebelled against God, nature got cursed. Everything got cursed. We live in an unfair, messed up world. So we got to be wise. We got to be shrewd. So, no, just because God made something doesn't mean I need to smoke it or suck on it. Hmm. Okay, I need to be wise. Second point. Ah, Cliff, no, 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 no. There is no way you should be drinking alcohol. Whoa, whoa. The first miracle that Jesus performed was turning water into Coca-Cola. No. <laughs> no way. But was can we what? pin that real quick? Wasn't that because he was honoring his mother and he was showing that you must honor your mother? Because, sure. Because he referenced hmm. and he said, woman, it's not my time. Good point. Very, I like the way you read the wow, scriptures, deep. George. That's awesome. All right. But but if it was about marijuana, I'd be leading you out. <laughs> like, Keep going. All right. So. Let's be real honest. There is nothing wrong with drinking wine. Jesus turned water into wine, so come on. But he did warn against drunkenness. So what is the definition of drunkenness? Good question. I do not know. I've heard it defined so many different ways, it's incredible. <laughs> why would you lead me? I thought you had the magical answer, man. I was, so, I was like, let's go. But let me tell you why I don't drink. I don't drink because the guys I played ball with got her drunk, and then they did anything with her sexually they wanted to do. Mm. That's crass manipulation. Mm. That's using a person. Fair enough. That's why I don't drink. But I think, okay, you, you, you rock it up on the booze. It's not my thing. I like to smoke because I feel like I could at least, I know people that smoke and do their job. I have very bad ADHD, so it calms me down. Yeah. So I do look at it as a point that um, it, it relaxes me, it unwinds me, and I can fall asleep. But I also feel like it's a cop-out because I just want it. Yep. So I wanted to know biblically what is the limit to marijuana, if right. it's okay, if it's not okay. If you do this one more time and you don't have the answer for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's real simple. George has one body. Yes. You don't have a spare in the trunk. Mm-mm. Your body is a beautiful gift from God. Amen. Take good care of it. Of course. Use the best science, the best medicine you can. Take good care of that body because you don't have a spare. Mm. And as a pastor, I have to sit beside the hospital beds of people who are dying from lung cancer, from smoking, cigarettes. Yeah. That's, that One has a lot of crap. One painful way to go. Yeah. yeah. One painful way to go. Please, guys, don't smoke. Smoke cigarettes? Right. Don't yeah. smoke, or don't smoke anything that's going to harm your lungs. Does marijuana harm your lungs like that? No, I don't think it does. Good. Great. It takes longer probably okay, okay, to okay, harm okay, your okay. lungs <laughs> than cigarettes, but you're still putting smoke in your lungs. You can, you can. It's proven that it affects your brain. It's proven with brain scans that it affects your brain. It builds holes in your brain. Because when you smoke, blood rushes from your brain to your extremities. That is hurting your body. Well, yeah, just if I do cartwheels, it hurts my brain. But that's what he said. He's like, don't do anything that will hurt your body. Well, but here's the thing. If I'm, okay, well, well, I'm not even trying to make excuses right now. What happens to the people that over overwhelm themselves with thoughts at night? And they get anxiety. Mm-hmm. So is it worse for you to sit there with anxiety or for you to just smoke and watch SpongeBob? A little wine for the stomach, Paul said, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's a little, yep. it's just a little relaxer. Mm-hmm. I wake up every day and I kill the day as hard as I can. But at night, I don't know how to shut up and sit down. I don't. I really don't. And I'm wired up and I just want to go run and I want to do stuff. And then I sit there staring at my ceiling. But if I smoke, I could unwind. I giggle a little bit. I go to bed. And by the way, I don't know if this is blasphemous, but I am. Oh, God, I really hope I don't get reamed for this. I enjoy reading the Bible when I'm a little stoned because I could focus a little bit more. Okay, good. So, again, am I using that as an example for like, oh, I'm just trying to get away with it? 
Or is it like true? Because I know ball players, I know athletes, I know fighters that smoke weed every day. And yet their physical form of their body, like we were talking about, is in tremendous shape. Why? Because they're smoking it in a, in, in a volcano where it's, it's not smoking with a lighter. There's, you could eat it in a brownie. There's ways around it for it to be healthy. Cliff? Oh, yeah. That's you know true. what I'm saying? So that's true. Okay. okay. All right. And full transparency and vulner- vulnerability for a second. Cliff has multiple sin bins of candy in, in his in his room, sugar that's in his saying. office, Cliff. like in, in the like, in like diabetes a is a serious thing, my I friend. I find them every now Let and then. Let me see your ankles. So now we're all right. We're good. <laughs> so make sure, and that's unhealthy. So you know, that's it's, right. That's exactly but, right. Well, then to just to add to that, while you answer, it, then what would be the difference between one glass of wine and night versus like yeah, a few puffs? I can answer that. Point. I can answer that. Give it to her. One you're, one is like you're relaxing and you're vibing, and one's you're straight stupid and uncontrollable. No, one glass of wine doesn't do That's that to you. That's what I'm saying. So, but if you drink a whole bottle of wine, but it's a one glass. Of wine. You yeah. act like a wild man. And by the way, wine is like biblically okay. So, so like, why, don't even and, worry about wine. No, but that's why I'm giving the example. Because exactly, if I, even though it's biblically okay, if I drank a bottle of it, it wouldn't be okay. So if I had one glass of wine versus a little bit of weed. Yep. So question, if I, work, mm-hmm. if I wake up, work out, I have a great meal, I'm not eating sugar like this buddy old pal over here. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, yeah. I have a trainer, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on my work, I treat my loved ones with respect, but at yep. night I like to unwind, not with wine, because I don't like the way it tastes or makes me feel, yep. but I smoke a little bit and I unwind. Does this, is this something that God looks at as like, dude, you're, you're, you're just wild in here. Like, no, nah, that's, that's far from me. Because I, let me tell you something, I have so much anxiety because I truly in my heart don't feel it to be wrong the only thing that drives me up the wall and makes me depressed is that i feel like i'm wronging the lord okay i do (laughs) not not. (laughs) no No. come on but here's but here's what i do know okay you and i are more similar than you would imagine i wake up good looking (laughs) (laughs) no i wouldn't think about that you're good looking i know that (laughs) um i wake up at two or three in the morning and the thoughts are racing yeah and some of them are not good thoughts anxiety or whatever. And I'm learning to meditate. And meditation is a very biblical thing. The psalmist meditated. And so here's what I do, and I would love for you to try and do. Start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. And there my mind goes off somewhere else. I got to go back. I force myself to go back and start and focus. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. And my mind's going off another. I have to stop and go back. And I'm teaching myself to focus on Christ instead of focusing on my anxiety, my problems, my fears, the things that threaten me, my insecurities. Mm. And meditation is incredibly helpful. So the Lord's Prayer would be one example. Secondly, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Mm. And that has a way of calming me down and reminding me it's the all-powerful God who is the basis of my security in life, not my bank account, stock portfolio, or talents, or career, or whatever else. Oh, I'm not using it to, uh, to like cure my anxiety or depression. Okay. I'm just strictly off of just unwinding and enjoying my time. That's the problem. Yeah. It's it's not like I'm using it to be like, uh, oh, I'm really depressed. Honestly, I think de- I get more depressed while I'm high sometimes because I'm overthinking that it's wrong, and right. then I get anxiety from that. It's yeah. truly not. It's just an unwinding fact yeah. of I worked really hard today. Yeah. I'm just trying to kick my feet up and just unwind, and that's why I find it selfish. It's not a need that I want. It's truly a want. Yes. But I get jealous because people love wine. Yeah. And I don't love wine. Right. I love this. This is my avenue. Yep. Why is it that this avenue is wrong and then this avenue is fair? Well, I think it's wonderful that you and your sister have great conversations on this topic. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> you got a good sister there. She loves you and it's beautiful to see. She gets high with me all the time. <laughs> She's like the Pharisee. She's Pharisee. She'll just act like she isn't sitting. Look at her. <laughs> I'm an overachiever, where Jess. It gets to the point where it's gluttonous, right? Like, it gets to the point where, like, your whole day, okay, fine, it's a Monday. We have work the next day. There's no reason why we should be smoking two joints the day before and then we wake up groggy. We feel the effects. So the fact that, like, that's the part where I'm, I disagree with. Like, it's not just, oh, I'm just going to chill and hang out. No, it's the amount that we do. 
That's the problem that I, that's the problem that I, I can cool off with the amount that I have. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If I, if I had the green light of like fully, if I fully was like, okay, this is not a sin. I just got to monitor it better. I could definitely do that. <laughs> Jessica, whoever said not, toss the first stone. <laughs> and you were throwing some rocks. <laughs> it's a glass house, my friend. Uh, she loves you. It's great to see. Bro. No, it's just great. In the Middle Eastern house, if you're six years older than your sibling, it's another mom. Do you know how time she's grounded me? Do you have any idea how weird it is for your sister to be like, that's it, no phone? That's amazing. I'm like, well, you can't do that. And then she pays for my phone bill, so she takes it away from me. And I'm like, okay, I don't even know what to do here. <laughs> Um, so we'll circle back. Maybe we rip a bong, we figure it out. Is that is that a sin? manifestation will come down? Yes, yeah, when we're doing it. <laughs> okay, so t- so just to circle, just to close this, just just close this chapter. Sugar is bad for you. Alcohol is bad for you. There's a lot of things bad for you. Is it like how you're monitoring in your life and you're not letting that substance or object overcome your Ooh. life? Mm-hmm. Well put. Moderation. Hey, oh, your boy my get goodness. it. Hi, well put. Night. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> joking. I'm just joking. Obviously, by the way, and this is true. Jessica can speak up. Reed can speak up. Bell can speak up. I always personally pull them aside. I go, "Hey, have you seen me drift off from marijuana?" Has it pulled me away? And they'll, Reed will be the first one to be like, "Yeah, I think you know you don't. You're not a passionate. You, you wake up groggy." Bell would be like, "You're a little crankier." Jess is like, "You're stupid." And I'll be like, "Okay, cool." So like, I'll monitor. I'll ask, and I'll and I'll and I'll weigh out their opinions. Not because I care about what their opinions are. Like I'm like worshiping their thoughts, but it's because I'm wise enough to know that they love me mm-hmm. and that they're gonna push me in the right path. That's right. Mm-hmm. So. I, I do I do hold myself accountable when I was smoking, even when I was like battling that, I would take 30 days off to make sure it's not a slaving me. But it's like, damn, bro, like I I work so hard and I'm so passionate, I need something to unwind me. And I tried to get into cigars. I tried to get into cigars. <laughs> I tried to get into wine. I tried to get into all this stuff, but it's just not me. And in my mind, I'm like, why am I forcing myself into this way? It's not organic. You know what I mean? We'll talk later. <laughs> we'll talk later after the podcast. Let's go to another question. 